Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm gonna bring you some pretty good news. Okay, so maybe as you already seen on my Facebook, I posted about the AMD Vega. It's gonna be released on the 10th of June 2017. We have some exact specifications already for the Vega Frontier Edition, but to be honest, this card is so damn ugly. They just showed it somewhere and I was like, oh my god, blue and yellow is one of the worst things ever. It doesn't look badass at all. I wouldn't even could sell this to my grandma. So they really need to change the look of this card before they, they're gonna sell this. Even though how good this card can be, this card has to change look anyway. I'm thinking that this card just has two RX 480 cores inside it or whatsoever. And they just added the new HBM2 memory into it too. So they have a really good performance so you can play 80 FPS with 4K gaming screens. So that's pretty darn badass how they accomplished doing this. But it's all possible because they combined two HBM2 memories of 8GB to a combined 16GB card and that's pretty darn awesome. So it has 64 cores and shader units inside it and that holds about 4096 cores and shader units. The website is talking about 480GB per second on memory bandwidth but the old Fury X was having 512GB per second so that's pretty weird what happened over there. But that means that there are just two stacks of HBM2 new memory type and the usual four stacks of 4GB on the Fury X. So maybe there has been some sort of problem where they occurred on doing that. So the Vega 10 GPU will be made in the 14 nanometer technology. A lot of people were expecting it's going to be the 10 nanometer technology because of the name. But for some reason it's still 40 nanometers and I already expected that a little bit because it's just going to have two cores because AMD always does that. They will always stick two cores inside a single GPU. So this card has two 8-pin connectors. It's going to draw about 150 watts at least on the cores together or probably the whole card will just draw 250 watts in a single blow. So this card has a new memory type. We don't know really what's going on with the mining speeds later on, but I'm expecting a little bit of a slow mining performance because the memory type seems to be running pretty slow. And if you're mining Ethereum, for example, you need really fast memory and that's the only thing that matters over there. So this card is probably going to be very good for Zcash and Monero and whatsoever with core uh, based coins. But this card will be released with two versions, a normal stock cooler and a water cooled version. So that's just the hint that there's going to be two cores inside this GPU for really 100% sure. So this card is going to change the way of gaming and mining whatsoever. So this card is going to be one big ass badass and I'm looking forward for buying it for you guys to benchmark it and get the numbers as soon as I can onto the website. So hope you all enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.